Hey everyone, I'm photographer and filmmaker TK North. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sizzle or highlight reel and all the tips you need to know to really make it stand out. Now, a good sizzle reel has video, audio, and a key message to really showcase you or your project idea. So let's jump in to see how you can do that. So firstly, what is a sizzle reel? So these are short promotional videos, sometimes referred to as show reels, demo reels, highlight reels, pitch tapes, teasers, or even promotional videos. So actors, editors, videographers all use these to really showcase or highlight the best of their work. So for me as a videographer, these are really useful to gain new clients and really showcase what you can offer but also to pitch project ideas when people are unsure whether they should invest in you. So a good reel serves as basically the proof of your concept, selling an idea and helping build some excitement around it. In this video, I'll be going through the tips that I actually use to create my very own time-lapse reel. The aim of my reel was to basically showcase the best of my time-lapse work, which hopefully you can use these tips as well. Of course, to really stand out against others, your reel really needs to be compelling. So how can your reel bring the heat? So no matter what type of reel you are creating, these tips will help you make a successful one. The first one is to keep it short. Now, traditionally, sizzle reels could be as long as five minutes. Now with social media pushing our attention span shorter and shorter, five minutes is typically far too long. Most sizzle reels average about one to two minutes. For instance, for my time-lapse reel, I want it to be about 90 seconds max. The next one is to consider your audience. For me, with my time-lapse reel, I need to think who that target audience is. Am I trying to pitch this to destinations or tourism boards with the aim of getting work for them? In that case, I need to think about questions of how I can make destinations really stand out or come across in my sizzle reel. So think about your intended audience and think about what they actually want to see. So you need to answer these questions before they even come up. If you think they might want quick cuts and energetic music, for example, use this to really make your reel stand out. Next, consider the purpose of your video. What is the actual point of your video? Is it the part of a larger presentation or will it stand alone on its own on YouTube or Vimeo as promotion? If it is part of a larger presentation, perhaps you don't have to put everything into your reel. But remember, if your reel on its own is the entire pitch, it really does need to stand out and make its case. So that might seem quite hard to do in only 60 seconds, but this is plenty of time to really showcase your best work. Remember, it is far better to leave your audience wanting more than to make your video too long and to have them bore out or lose interest. So the key here is just to spark an emotion if possible and really show that your work is a premium. Make sure it is very clear which part of the process you were actually responsible for. For example, were you the editor, director or writer? Make sure it is clear in your reel which part you are actually responsible for. For this, it's quite easy to add titles. You can do this easy in Adobe Premiere Rush or Premiere Pro. The next point is to make sure you tell a story. So narrative is essentially how us humans see the world. So even for a short promotional video, it should be clear in its message and have an obvious beginning, middle and an end. You really want to make sure at the end that people really understand what they've just watched. Exciting cuts and effects are really useful to make your reel stand out. However, they are no substitution for making sure your reel is coherent. Last of all, make it look professional. Regardless of the purpose of your reel, the video and audio should come together to make it really shine. For this, you may need to dive in and learn some more video editing skills in Premiere Rush or Premiere Pro. Also working with color and making sure the look and feel of your video is coherent throughout. Lastly, you can also get creative by adding custom titles. To really make your titles look professional, you can download and use things like motion graphics templates, which are available on Adobe Stock. So once your reel is finished and ready, run it by a few people in your industry, get some genuine feedback, take it all in and adjust anything if need be. 
Then when you're finally happy with it, you can share this on social media or share it off to any potential clients. So there you have some basic tips and everything you need to consider when creating your own sizzle reel. Remember, this is one of the best ways to get your work out there and get it properly seen and share it with new clients. So jump in and start creating. I'm TK North. Thanks so much for watching.